Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP learning sources or what are the various SAP ABAP reference material available as a part of that. Firstly, I explained how you can go for F1 help or technical information, how you can go for ABAP docu or ABAP help transaction code. Ultimately, both are same because if you are going for F1 help, ultimately it is taking you to the one common transaction code that is ABAP docu or ABAP help. Now in this video, we will learn because this is the query from so many people. Yes, I want to go for sample programs. Can I check what are the various sample programs given by SAP? Suppose I want to go for the sample code of a class. I want to go for the sample code of suppose modified database operation. Suppose I want to go for the sample code where I can go for insert internal table operation. So can I check what are the various sample code available? Yes. The common transaction code is a BAP docu only in the ABAP docu. SAP has given plenty of programs and the best part is they are in alphabetical order. Yes. So you can simply, simply check and you can go for debugging also. You can go for execute also. You can simply, simply see the code also. Everything you can do. It is just like a sample code and maximum time people, if they want to check or if they want to refer some sample code of a particular topic, they will go to a BAP docu transaction code and they will use that. Suppose simple example, as of now, I have not covered a BAP on HANA. So many people are saying, I want sample program of AMTP. I want sample program of CDS. Just use this transaction code. Here you will find each and every sample program which is given by SAP. Suppose if I will go to a BAP docu transaction code and I will show you. Anyways, whenever you will refer the video of how to use a BAP docu transaction code, there also SAP explained this part. But this is extremely important. So I am taking this part in a separate manner, in a separate video. Suppose whenever you will go to a BAP talk to transaction code, just simply, simply go for a BAP examples. We have a dedicated thing here, a BAP example. Once you click here, SAP has given so many examples. So based upon your requirement, you can simply, simply go for that particular example. Suppose simple. I want to go for suppose class. I want to go for a sample code or sample program of suppose a BAP OOPS classes where SAP has created the program for a BAP OOPS classes. So what I will do, I'll just simply scroll. There is a dedicated a BAP objects classes. I will click here. Whenever you will click here, you will find three things there. You can simply execute. If you are able to understand the code, you can simply execute. It will give you the result. If you want to go for debugging, you can debug this code also, whatever the code which SAP provided. Or you can simply go to a back editor. Suppose here you are not able to see the code properly. So you can go to a BAP editor and you can see that code. Suppose if I will go to a BAP editor. So this same code will open in a BAP editor. I mean SC38 transaction code. Now you can see the same to same program opened in SC38 demo underscore class underscore counter. Yes. Suppose if I want to simply simply. Suppose I close this. Suppose I want to simply, simply execute this program. So I will go to execute and I'm getting the result. Suppose I want to debug this particular program. So you can put breakpoint. Suppose if you want to put a breakpoint, 
you can put breakpoint. So you can simply, simply run this code in that debugging. Suppose here you do not want to go for debugging. From here itself, you want to go for debugging. I'll just, I think I, by mistake, I closed. Okay. I'll just log in again. By mistake, I closed. I will go to a back talk to transaction code. I will go to a BAP examples and we choose a BAP classes. Now, suppose just now I showed you that how you can open in a BAP item. Suppose you do not want to go for a BAP item. So from here itself, you want to debug or you want to execute. Once you click on execute, you will simply get the result. If I will show you eight. When we open in a BAP editor at that time also we got the result 8. So from here itself you can simply execute. Now one option you can open in a BAP editor and you can go for debugging. Suppose from here itself you can go for debugging. And the best part is whatever is into that program SAP has given the description also. What that program is doing actually yes. Suppose if I will go for debug, so this program will simply, simply take me to the debugging. Suppose if I will go, now you can see same program, I navigate it to the debugging mode. So it's totally your wish how you want to go. You want to open in a new session or you can simply, simply go from here also. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, again, extremely, extremely important because this is the question from so many people where they can check the sample program because they do not have the every time they do cannot write the programs. They want to check the sample code. Suppose you are working on a requirement and you are not able to find how to write the code, but SAP provided the references code, I'll say reference program. At this, you will get the idea of the same. So what you can do, you can go to a BAP docu transaction code. In a BAP docu transaction code, we have a BAP a BAP examples. You can simply simply go to a BAP examples. Here everything is in alphabetical order. So whatever you want to search, simply go for that particular thing. There you have execute there you have debug also there you have a back editor also you can directly go to debugging from here you can directly execute from here or you can go to a back editor means sc38 transaction code you can go for debugging there you can simply simply execute also and the best some best suggestion go for the video which sap provided to you for the use of a back talk to transaction code, once you go for that video, it will surely or guaranteed help you to use the ABAP talk to transaction code in the best efficient manner. Now in the next video, I will show you because now people will say you are showing everything in SAP. Firstly, you show F1 technical information, then you show ABAP talk to or ABAP help but I do not have access of SAP system. Then how I can learn SAP ABAP? Then in the next video, I will simply guide you how you can find the same to same reference material in help.sap.com. Anyways, if you have the internet, you can go for this site and you can learn SAP ABAP. So that's it in this video. Thank you.